Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here once again. It is Team R. Right now, before I go any further, I'm just wondering anyone out there on social media had a chance, the opportunity to listen to the podcast from earlier today. If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. If not, then hit the subscribe, leave a like. I mean, sorry, hit the like button. I want your honest opinion about the article or however you feel about it, but don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the host with the lovely most there. And hopefully you guys enjoy the one from earlier today and one right now. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you want to show like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain uh, um, topic and the article will be down below. Let's freaking roll this. Now I think next month it will be... What, three years in the making or four years in the making since WWE launched the WWE Network. Now, a post will launch back in 2011 or 2012. And of course, around that time, we had not heard nothing, no launch, nothing. So I guess WWE just pulled a plug or they weren't ready. So eventually, they announced it and all good stuff. I love what they put on the WWE Network. Another thing I don't like, oh sorry, the one thing I don't like is about the service, okay? Is if a lot of people are watching it, like a big pay per view like WrestleMania or Royal Rumble, you get a lot of errors, so I have to restart my PS4 or watch it the next day. That's why people should watch it the next day. You know, you don't have to watch it live, you know? It's not like the good old days. I gotta watch it, I gotta come home and watch it at 7 o'clock. Or 8 Central, something like that, you know? You can always watch it on demand. It's not really a big deal. But I guess people these days are still want to watch it when it first kicks off. So stay away from social media, okay? That's just my tip. Of course, my tip does not help. My advice does not work for everyone else there. Or get a very strong internet. I told people you need very good internet, you know? If you get crappy internet, you're going to have crappy... Um, from the WWE Network. That's just me, okay? Okay. The WWE Network has been 999 for subscribers in the United States since the streaming service first launched. They will throw out deals for free monthly or multiple months for much smaller price. But 999 is a normal going rate. There have been rumors. Sorry, there have been have been rumors. Some rumors floating around assess the graphics, saying the W Network will soon be ten dollars and ninety nine. Wow, almost eleven bucks. Upgrade is a dollar would be would mean tweet twenty extra bucks a year. From fans, which could generate a lot of veneran. However, those rumors are not true. Thank God. Now, if it did goes up, I'm not gonna cancel it because it is awesome. You can get some awesome pay-per-view, exclusive stuff, all the stuff you can't get anywhere else. Of course, eventually it will be on DVD because W is so. They want to make some extra bucks because they know everyone out there cannot or don't want to get the WWE Network. It is the best thing out there for WWE. Okay? You can watch it on any tablet. They used to promote it when they first got it on, on segments. They used to promote it on commercials. The commercial they used to do, that was so lame. So, they say it's not true. Do you think eventually WWE is going to jack up their prices for WWE Network? I know. Netflix is jacking up their prices, I think. Hulu is jacking up their prices. Any um, service, um, any stream service is jacking up prices. You can do nothing about it. And I also know that sometime this year or next year, Disney is going to have their own streaming service and probably that's going to be up high. You know, like they really need the extra money. Any of these big companies, they don't need the extra money. But they just me. You know, Netflix is awesome, Hulu's awesome, and they even WWE Network is awesome. WWE Network, okay? 
Now I know a lot of you don't like the W network. It is <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to cough. <coughs> it's not that good quality. Just keep lagging. Maybe because you don't have a great internet, okay? Or maybe everyone is jumping up at the same time. Is watching people. My guess is my my sorry my advice is don't watch it at night. Watch it when the pay is over and stay off the freaking social media. Now for Netflix and Hulu, I love it because no freaking commercials. You could just watch any kind of movie, you know, or TV shows, you know, even the newer um, TV shows out there. So that wraps it up. So I think that's still a good price, nine nine nine. I know a lot of you will cancel it and then they want a free um, monthly feed like the new subscribers, you know. They probably know your history if you keep canceling it. I have never canceled it. If it's a bad match or pay bad pay view, I'm not gonna cancel it. That's kinda ridiculous how people do it on social media. But they're just me. Everyone enjoy your rest of your Saturday, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. And once again, enjoy your rest of your Saturday, and I'll talk to you sometime tomorrow. Sign out from your lovely host here, Team Alright. Later.